technology over the years has actually matured and become very easy to access in Zambia. We've seen a lot of investment in infrastructure, which has uh, made businesses as well as individuals to take advantage to build models of businesses. We've seen a lot of financial inclusion culminating around uh, the population because of the enablement by technology in the financial market space. We're an indigenous bank, uh, born and raised in Zambia. We understand the Zambian people, we understand the Zambian culture. This is what has helped our customers to come to us. And it really does separate us from our competitors. We strive to be a customer-centric organization in everything that we do. And even in our culture, we believe that our culture comes first uh, before our strategy. And when we have the right culture, we'll be able to deliver our strategy. Customer centricity is number one for Zanaco. It is key that we understand what our customers' needs are and we deliver them appropriately. Zanaco demonstrates a, a clear commitment to innovation by investments that we've done in technology, infrastructure, but most importantly, by building the first ever innovation lab in this country where big ideas are conceived, developed, and delivered as solutions to the enablement of our customers out into the market. Where a number of digital innovations have come up that have helped to solution for our customers and to help to position ourselves as a digital bank in Zambia. We realize that our customers don't really want to walk into brick and mortar these days and they want to be able to do their banking right on the palm of their hands using a mobile device and that is what we are achieving and trying to do as Zanaco. One critical product that has come out of the Innovation Lab is our QR code which you can actually use to pay for your transport fare when you are actually moving around the towns or to the suburbs. We uh, challenged ourselves in the year 2018 and we said that by the year 2025, we will be the digital go-to bank in Zambia. And that's what we've been working towards. It's embedded in our strategy and it's embedded in our culture that this is what we want to do. Our plan is to grow segmentally through all the markets and would want to hit the number of five million customers. Would also want to scale the presence and accessibility of Zanaco Express channel where our customers interact to access financial services. Zanaco Express is the name that the bank Zanaco has coined to refer to their agency banking business where agents like myself are recruited to take uh, various banking services to the communities out there. What we basically do is, like I've earlier stated, is to bring and take banking services to communities that were previously unbanked. So we offer an opportunity for people to open accounts with us. And once they open accounts, we start to accept cash deposits from them and also perform balance inquiries, ask us to give, give them um, mini statements, and also provide them a platform to pay various uh, bills. Zanaco have prided themselves as being one of the banks that uh, pioneers and encourages uh, doing business outside the branch. We are partners in development and we are helping government to push the government agenda in terms of uh, being used as a channel to help uh, in uh, the farmer input support program, uh, various other government programs like even social cash transfer, people would get uh, their monies through channels like Zanaco Express. We are a micro lender in uh, Zambia, a non-deposit taking micro lender. Um, essentially we uh, give out loans to formerly employed individuals uh, in Zambia without collateral. As uh, our growth path continued, uh, we had to come and find um, 
funders and from day one um, we found Zanarco to be incredibly approachable. Approachable in the sense that they understand our business, they understood our needs and thus could give us the services uh, that we required. They were the first to understand that um, our sort of business does require funding in its growth phase and uh, were the first to come to the party to give us uh, such funding. As we pride ourselves in making our customers' lives easy, so Zanarco has actually made our lives a lot easier through their uh, services to us. I think Zanarco is made up of a great team of people. It's a very much a human interaction, it's not just a business interaction, so professional while still being sort of down to earth and, um, and very human. As the NACO, we see ourselves as a partner for growth for the government, as a partner of growth um, for the nation at large. Internally, as a bank, we do have an economic research unit, and this research unit pretty much feeds in information on the Zambian economy that is used by the government, it's used by the private sector, by public sector, and we believe that we will continue to provide this independent information um, to the general public. As we use our footprint to our advantage, we continue working with community schools, with the government in driving financial literacy and making sure that each and every Zambian is financially educated. The banking industry of 10 years ago is not the same banking industry that we have at present. And certainly it won't be the same banking industry that we'll have in the future. Fintechs are busy in the market space. And so banks are supposed to model themselves into this conversation of digitization to be relevant to the changing needs of customers, which is coming about by the adoption and consumption of technology daily. So Zanaku as a bank, we remain resolute to be a key participator in digitization going forward and for the future as a whole.